Superhands. Science. Superhands, are you flying? That's amazing. I guess they don't call you Superhands for nothing. Or should I say, Superhands? But how are you flying? <laughs> With the power of wind? Cool beans! And wind can be used to do other amazing things, like doing work or making electricity even cooler. Uh-oh, the wind stopped blowing. Ouch! Oh, are you okay, Super Hands? So how do you use wind to do work and make electricity? Machines called windmills use wind energy to spin around and do work? Awesome! And those big arms that catch the wind and turn in a circle are called sails? Hey, that makes sense! Sails on a sailboat also use wind to move. And when the windmill's sails turn, it makes it so a big wheel inside turns too. Wow! The sails outside are connected to the big wheel inside. I get it. And look how that big wheel inside is helping us do work, like grinding up wheat into flour to make bread. Nowadays, we use high-tech windmills to turn the power of wind into the power of electricity. That's called clean energy. Windmills are so cool, Super Hands. Oh, I wish we could build one of our own. What? We can build our very own toy windmill? Yes! Science is so much fun. So what are we going to need to do that? A pointy wooden stick, a pencil, colored pens, colored papers, tape, Play-Doh, a milk box, and blunt scissors. Ta-da! Time to get our science on! Step 1. Let's decorate the box. If your milk box is not white, you will have to paint it or wrap white paper around it first. Then, use the colored pen to draw the doors and the windows of the windmill box. Use your imagination to make it look exactly how you like it. You can draw one door at the front and two windows on the sides, just like Superhands is doing. Wow, this is looking amazing already! Step 2. Let's make the roof. Get a piece of colored paper and draw a circle that is about the same size as the paper. With your blunt scissors, cut the circle and make a hole in the center. If you need help, ask a grown-up. Next, carefully cut a slit to the middle of your circle. Get a piece of tape and put it on one side of the slit. Now, fold it like this to make a cone. You might need to measure it so it will be the same size as our windmill. When you have the right size, use two pieces of tape to stick the roof to the box. Step 3. Let's cut and fold the sails. Get one piece of colored paper and fold it like this. Then, open the paper and fold it again, but to the other side. With your blunt scissors, cut one of the folded marks that we just did. Leave about half of an inch before cutting through to the middle. Next, do this on the other three folded marks. Now we need to make holes through the paper. Get your pencil and a small ball of Play-Doh. Place the ball of Play-Doh underneath the middle of the paper like this and poke a hole through the paper. Next, we need to poke holes at the tip of each corner like this. In total, you should have one hole poke in the middle and four hole pokes at each corner. Step 4. Let's finish building the windmill. Now carefully get your pointy stick and make a hole in the box, just like this. If you need help, ask a grown-up. Make a hole on the front and on the back of the box. Now, put the stick through the box and place your piece of paper on the stick through the middle hole. Next, take each corner hole and put them through the stick like this. Get a small piece of Play-Doh and stick it on the top of the stick to hold the sails. Do it on the back too, just so the stick won't fall out. Looking good! All done! Turn on the fan, Super Hands, and let's test to see if our windmill works. Wow! It's working! See how the sails catch the wind and use it to spin around? How amazing is that? 
You can even take your windmill outside and try catching real wind. That's all the science for today. Thank you, Super Hands, and thank you for watching. Did you like this video? Watch new episodes of Super Hands every Friday. And subscribe to our channel to receive new videos from Play Kids.